away we go. We're on a, another fishing adventure. We have my guest today, Mike Bolster. He's a local businessman, entrepreneur up here in Perth Andover. And uh, we're gonna go out there and we're gonna see if we can put a hurting on some smallmouth bass today. It's a great fishery up here. Um, we feel that the fish up in this river, they go, they move up the river all the way, they go all the way in Grand Falls, I guess. And this time of year, they seem to all come back down out of that shallow water as it cools off. So we're gonna go see if we can find some and put some big ones in the boat. What we're gonna do is we're, we're both gonna start off with a jerk bait. This one, it's a jack all re range, it's a jerk bait. This is the time of year. I like jerk baits in the fall. He's a baby as well. Craziest top water I ever threw. You'd think they're a monster in that current, wouldn't you? That just oh, cold. Bad sized fish. No, he's okay. Not what we're, no, he's bigger than I thought. Not what we're looking for, but he's still bigger than It's not a lunker. There you go. Craziest bait ever. Works like a charm. Oh, strange looking rig. Yeah, this thing's easy to fish. You throw it as far as you can and you just turn the handle and you bring it back. And those two front wings on it, they'll catch that water and it just kind of walks and splashes and gurgles. And any bass that's anywhere within range is gonna come over and try and eat that. And that fish we just put back was just, he was a little over two. I've seen 12 inches hit it and I've seen four pounders hit it. So it's a, it's a general all round bait. It's a big thing, but uh, it's been fun fishing with it. Let's see if we can catch another one. Nice thing about these is you don't have to worry about the snag. Yeah. And the, there, look at that already. Got another one. <laughs> That's, I got to give this one to Mike for a while. <laughs> that, so that's two consecutive casts. I just landed that right on the shore edge. Oh, the, now see, we're downsizing now. This goes to what I was saying about even the smaller fish will hit it because this guy's small. <laughs> See, I'm being careful with my fingers. Like all those jackal baits, those hooks are needle sharp. We're not deep water, so I at any, but they seem to be the, the two I hit were in fairly close. So maybe it's, uh, you know, maybe the crayfish are there's some crayfish out, or maybe there's some bait along the bank. Well, I'm giving this to Mike. I'm just switching the handle. Okay, I'll make sure it's not quite as heavy. So yeah, yeah. I find the blue fox is just so compact and small, and it's a non-threatening. It's Quiet. It's just a flashy thing moving through the water. Maybe it looks like a couple of minnows swimming together. Oh, a little jump, get a little air. Not a big fish, but pound for pound, he's pretty strong. Not finding the big girls yet. Nice little fighter. Amazing what they can do in that current. This fish didn't look to be any more than 13 inches when he swirled on top. Yeah, with that current, he's running down river for all he's worth. <laughs> I could be wrong. Yeah, not wrong. He's a, he's a fat third. No, he's not even fat. He looked fatter in the water, too. Very brown today. No real markings on them at all. Just brown. Oh, we got a little baby on. Fighting hard. Still gives a good account of himself. <laughs> yes, current, he does. He? See? He wants to win, but he's not going to. He's not hooked bad at all, so. I know you run sharp hooks, so I'll be careful here. Yeah, he's not I a guess. Bad size. He's bigger than I thought. Flip him. Boys, get him turned a bit. Up. Nope. He's bigger than I thought. No, oh, sir. He's not gonna. I'm gonna have to grab the net. He's not. You gonna want the flip. net? Yeah. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, he was bigger than I thought. I tried to flip him up, and he wasn't gonna flip. That's a nice fish. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, he's nice. Nice fish. He's a little bigger. So we're getting up in size. He's the biggest one so far. That fish came to the boat just like a little baby fish. And then he, he got up sideways. I, I don't know whether he saw the boat or what happened, but man, all of a sudden, I mean, he wanted to leave. Fighting along with the current. He wants to go under the boat. Come on over here, big guy. Huh? He's not a bad size, a little fish. Mm. 
Yeah, he's hooked in there pretty good. Yeah, they're pulling water hard now, fighter. God, I'm almost gonna have to turn the big engine on to go up there. I'm on 80% power now. We're barely moving in the current. Well, we hooked into a rock. They're we hoping it was a lunker, but uh, it's it, a non moving It would have been one, a lunker. So it would have been. <laughs> We're going to go over here and see if we can use the uh, reacher to yeah. pop it off of there. So I put a little foam on the end of that. They'll, they'll float for a little while. Get into a rock. We don't want to lose these, uh, that nice blue fox lure. And there you go. You unhooked it just there like that. There you go. That. Look at that. Slim reacher to the rescue. Yeah, multi-purpose. So I keep one of these in the back of the truck. I mean, you showed me one of those there a month or so ago, two months ago, and I've got one in the back of the truck all the time. Well, Mike, this is a great idea. He said, why don't you tell me how this came to be? I mean, it's quite innovative. Always climbing in and out of the truck. I have a cap on my truck that makes it even harder. And uh, I just built a, a retractable hook to put in there. And uh, then coaching hockey, always full of hockey gear. And I kept it in the truck. And I just constantly had people making comments of where I had purchased it. And being a consumer products manufacturer, I built one that look like a finished product and uh, so after enough requests I started uh, making them and uh, putting them in stores and uh, got them you know it's a couple hundred stores around the Maritimes carrying them now and it's just been uh, something I've had fun designing and developing and uh, seeing people use and hearing the comments and and uh, you know making it easier for people to get things out of the back of the truck ideally but they're really great in boats too. So I, I noticed Mike on the label it says made in Canada so that's pretty impressive in itself made in Canada so where are they put together and manufactured? So uh, I most of my life I've been doing manufacturing consumer products and um, when I came up with the idea for this I decided it was something I could make here at my facility in, in Perth Andover and the, the components are sourced from a lot, a lot of different places, Canada, U.S., overseas. So I bring the different components in that uh, are designed and custom made for the product and we assemble them in Perth Andover. Uh, we have another fish, seem to be running along the same size, most of them. It's amazing the fight in a bass. I spent my life salmon fishing, which is a total different type of fight. But I mean, these suckers are strong. Yeah, Sam would still be taking your line down the yeah, river. Yeah, right yeah, yeah. You aren't reeling in right away with yeah, the Sam. Not right away, no. No. Can't get over how hard this current's pulling. This one's got lots of fight in them. Still fighting. Oh, there's no quid in them at all. No, there isn't. Doesn't want to come in the boat. I like to stay in the water. Yeah, come on up here, big guy. Oh, I got let him coming. He was chasing it. He didn't get it. There you go. Nice little fish. All right, he wants to go. What I'm doing with this, I'm throwing the current line. You can you can almost see the shine and you can see the ripple and I just figured that's the current line because there's a bit of an edge there. Yeah, you can you can follow it. That's where up. these guys are coming right off of that edge. Just hit this great big bait and that crayfish that he threw up on my deck is alive. That's amazing. He just threw this up and it's still alive. Let me get a picture of that. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's for that was what was for breakfast. That's cool. Very cool. Oh, I saw him come right out. That was a nice fish. He came right up to it and nice one. turned away. He gave just a little bump. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I saw him. Throw her back in there again. That's egg, egg sometimes you need to aggravate them. Same thing, right on that edge, current line. He's coming, but he looked pretty good when he came up. He's going, he's leaving too. He came and he's going. He's heading down river. He's, yeah, he's not that big. He's two pounds or so. I'm insulting them by saying he's not big. We'll call him 114. It's 
seems if they're going to hit, they hit in the first four, four or five feet after they. Oh, you'll have the big one will fall to you right back and smack it right at your feet as you go oh, lift really? it up wow. in the water. Okay. Yeah, well, you just tear the rod till, right out of your hands. I won't give up to the lures oh. in my hand. Good thing these fish don't have wings because they sure like to come out of the water. Yeah, they like to jump. Come on up here, big guy. Oh, nice fish. These are so fun to catch. All smallmouth are crazy. Ah, it's a nice fish. Back and grow another year. Well, Mike, why don't you tell us a little bit about how your company came to be? Well, back in the early 90s, uh, working with my father and my brothers, we started manufacturing a Christmas tree stand called Santa Solution. And uh, it became really popular, selling it through major retailers and went on to uh, develop different models of tree stands and for the US and Canadian market and some overseas. And a lot of accessories, everything from a watering system to floor protection trays. Um, and after 20 some years of that, uh, moved on to uh, some different products uh, in the lawn and garden industry, made some garden beds for a while. And then eventually, just out of necessity, <laughs> came up with the uh, the idea for the Slim Reacher. You want the net for no, that guy? No, I can scoop and This is 20 pound braid. I'm gonna just get them turned around a little bit. And... No, not yet, he says you're not. Yeah, yeah 20 pound power pro. <laughs> She's tough stuff. Solid. Spinner bait. Oh, that's, that's a good a nice one right one, there. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's fighting hard. He does not want to come this way. Well, it's a nice fish. Nice yeah, it fish. looked good when he jumped. Oh yeah, nice fish. Oh, I'm gonna net that one for you. Okay. Yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's a netter. There we go. That's a good one right there. That is a nice That's fish. Nice I'll get your picture with look, that one. Look where we got him. Yeah. yeah, he smacked at it. Yep. Yeah. Right in the forehead. Oh, oh that was great. Him. What a fighter. Oh, he's dark. Too. He hit hard as soon as the lure touched the water. And uh, he didn't come in easy. Yeah. Aren't you supposed to hold him go. out like that? Yeah, you can do that <laughs> there too, you maybe. go. Yeah, that's a nice fish. look big. Yeah. Oh, like that right there. Just like that. Yeah, it takes a long time to grow a bass, big bass. How old would you say a four pounders typically are? 15. Oh, that old, wow. Oh, there we go. Double header again, still counts because you got yours. <laughs> we have a short growing season here compared to, you say, southern Ontario. You know, they would have a month on either end of the season compared to us because yeah. they're that much further south. There you go. Yes, sir. <laughs> he says, yeah, he says, I'm not coming. He's a splasher. Yeah. Oh, he's full of it. That's a nice fish. Oh, yeah, I know. I don't know if I can flip him or not. I'm trying, to get him, trying to get him turned. I got a line there out here right now. I have to I get in. I was just trying to get his head turned towards oh, the boat. Oh, he got him in. Oh, yeah. So that would be over three, eh? He's, yeah, he's right in there. There's a fish. I'm just impressed with the bait. It's the craziest looking thing ever. But, man, does it ever catch him. Nice one. Very brown this time of year for some reason. Yeah. What would you say is the color of a bass? I've had them sometimes, they're almost pale white. Uh, that guy was brown with a bit of bars. They get more bars on them if they're in weeds. Like they're very, very uh, camouflage yeah. in the water to their surroundings. This one feels more like an Atlantic salmon. Yeah, well he's in the current <laughs> like a salmon. He is. He wants to come around this side. Let him go where he wants. He's definitely the heaviest one I've hooked today. Oh, he looked pretty good when he came up. Yeah, nice fish. He's just a fighter, He's big coming. fighter. Come on up here, pal. Let me get that out of your mouth. Spun around here and hang on to him without piercing any fingers. There's one. Nice fish. Still counts as a double because Mike still got his in his hand. <laughs> it's still in hand. Yeah. That's right, Rick. Double. Well, I don't know if it's 
to say if it, oh, that's a nice fish right there. I don't know if it's turned on or we're just on a spot with some nice fish. This guy's, a, you know, he's a two from looks, maybe a little more than a two. Yeah. He must be closer to three, isn't he? He's, he's a big two. There's yeah. one. Another one on. There, that count, I don't know if that counts as a triple or not, because you just <laughs> had one. Yeah. You almost have to count it as a daily triple. <laughs> <laughs> he's hungry. Hungry fella. Just a little bit of lip on that one. Yeah. Not, not any damage at all. Still wants to fight though. Oh, they never quit. Man, these gotta be the strongest fish in existence. Pound for pound. They claim they're one of the toughest there is for their weight. fish he hit that twice before he got it yeah, that's like <laughs> felt the spinner rig it knocked sideways yeah that current man i'll tell you what they all feel like monsters they down do. there that current I mean, that's a medium heavy rod he's got that thing bent right Close there to too rock there. how could this not be fun <laughs> there's one there double header again mike's got one at the back it's hard to tell the weight when they're way out yeah. there. This one might be, oh, this one might be a little bigger. <laughs> yeah, he looked all right, yeah. yeah. A couple of pounds. Yeah, it's a nice fish. I can take the pressure off the trolling motors so he won't be pulling the, bo the boat, won't pull him. He wants to go out into the deeper water, this guy. Take me home. Well, I might net that. That looked bigger again right there. Yeah, I feel he's pretty heavy. Yeah. That's bigger than I thought it was. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, there we go. There you go. There's your big one so far. There's my biggest one yeah. for sure. That's a tank right there. That's a go to weigh in fish in a tournament. Yeah, you don't throw this one back yeah, in the tournament, do you? That. No. Well, you, sometimes if you're really you lucky, you are. <laughs> he was heavy. Yeah, he, no. he fought. When I came up, I thought he was a two pounder, and then yeah. all of a sudden I saw the side of him, and I thought, oh, that's way bigger than two. So you're saying that's probably about a three? That's over three, over That's three, three and a quarter, yeah, at least. Like yeah. Wow, nice fish. That one he hit uh, hit pretty hard right close to shore, uh, using a blue fox lure. And you know when you, when they're out there a ways, it's hard to tell the way, but when you get them closer, you could feel the pull. And he was really fighting in the current. <laughs> Felt more like a ten pound fish, but uh, it was certainly a nice one. I got a bass, and I just missed one before that, so there might be buddies up there. There might be buddies. He was that away, Mike. It's sort of toss up. There might have been more than one there. We'll give her a whirl. Oh, oh I thought you had one hit you. Right no, there. we'll see if we can find his big brother. Yeah, well, they're in that way. Yeah, I had a couple right of hits. There, he's a. Oh, that's a nice fish. Yeah, solid. What's caught on? Huh. A little wee tiny piece. <laughs> there was such a tiny piece of lip holding that <laughs> a jackal dune spinnerbait half ounce double willow there's the current you can see it's taking taking the the bait right downstream well what happened now just a second ago i had that fish on and there's a split ring on that blade and somehow that braid gets in the split ring and i couldn't get it out so i had to retie back to you know we were talking a few minutes ago about retying in especially in, in these places where you're fishing around rocks because even though you may not see it your line is being abraded yeah rick i, I know what you're talking about with, with fly fishing that's one thing you have to be really careful about is uh your leader getting a knot in it especially in, in when you're fishing in windy conditions and the day that you think to yourself i should retie that and make that one last cast that might be the biggest bass or musky or whatever that you ever hook and you didn't retie and your line pops never forget it Oh, we have saw a big swirl in the water. Not the biggest one today, but it's a saw the big swirl nice in the fighter. water. Come here, big guy. Bring you in and get you unhooked. He doesn't want to go. He looks like he's, he's stubborn. De he's decent. He's not as big as the last one. But that's still a good fish. He might be related to Mike. One of my kids. He's that stubborn.
There he is. There's that wind's coming up. Holy yes, smokes. I thought this was supposed to be a low wind kind of day. Come on. First cast after I put that thing back on again. There we go. We lost a rod in the water here. If we can spot it, we can get it. Well, I'm gonna walk backwards. There we go. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> sir. <laughs> the things a guy does with the tools for the truck. Obviously. Rick, I can't believe you threw that rod in the water. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to imagine, right? I've done dumber things. Uh, yeah, done I will take things. full credit for that one. Yeah. I have done dumber. The rookie. Well, there we go. Yeah, that's a few hundred bucks there. Yeah, a slight mishap where uh, the rod and reel left, left my hand and ended up in the water. But thanks to uh, Rick's skills and the handy slim reacher, we were able to retrieve about $500 worth of fishing gear. I got a fish. This so I tried the top water. Mike had a fish swirl behind his uh, blue fox and it's pretty shallow there and I so I just whipped the top water right up over the top of the rocks. I mean we got no water under us to speak of. Uh, uh, hoo -hoo -hoo. Don't you dare. First fish on Shimano World Pop top water. This is a he feels heavy. I don't know how big he is. A good size okay. fish. Swing it this way. Just swing it. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Trying to be careful with the rod tip. <laughs> there Ready you go. go. We'll get you. Hold on to that guy. We'll get another picture. Good he stops flopping long enough. Good grip on the lip. There we go. Lots of twist in them if they want to move. Nice. Nice fish. Yeah. This is another fighter. They're all fighters. They, they are. Fighters. They're all tough as nails. Oh. Come here, you. <laughs> yeah, you look bigger. Big, big belly. Yeah. They're fat. He looked so much bigger in the water. I figured that was a three pound fish, but. He's just a chunky buddy. Well, Mike. Thank you so much for coming out with us. That was, that was a lot of fun. I thought the fishing might be a little bigger today, but good fun nonetheless. Uh, he's a great guy to have on the boat. Slim Reacher came in handy today, retrieving a $500 combo <laughs> off of the bottom of the river. Lucky it was within reach of it, eight feet down, but the, yeah, it was good, good save. Well, yeah. we, we won't say who lost the rod in the oh, water, but uh, thank you, because that was really a great day. Um, a new experience for me. Um, I've been out a couple times fishing this river, uh, but not, uh, with the expertise that uh, you uh, you bring along, so it was really quite an experience and caught a lot of fish and really enjoyed myself. Well, and, uh, pleasure having you out. And I mean, Perth Andover is absolutely one of the New Brunswick bass scene's favorite places to come. There's a big tournament coming up, so it's a great fishery up here. And uh, you come down the way, and on the weekend you'll see some big bags coming in. Yeah, I'm sure. Are, yeah, I look forward to that. Anyway, thank you so much. Thank again. you. Appreciate I really, you coming. I really appreciate it myself.